Welcome to Pagan Crafting. Today we're going to look at our Travel Pocket Altar Part 8, Sidereal Magic and How to Design One. Look out for Part 9, we have still episodes to come. This series we've done sculpting, pendulum making, smudging, designing, jars, you name it, we have done it as much as we can possibly fit into this altar, we have achieved this. Keep watching so you can fill up your altar and let us have some fun with some pagan crafting. Now to design a sigil, we need a sigil worksheet. We're going to put this sigil on this little red scroll here. And I would love some empowerment for my spell making. So I'm going to put love and light surrounds me. So I would like a protection around me. Now I'm going to take out all the vowels and all the double consonants. And what is left would be the one that will help invoke this magical symbol for me. What I'm left is L, V, G, H, T, S, R, N, D, and M. I start off with a circle and I end with a straight line. So I know which is which, which end is which. Now I like to try, I look at three points first on the wheel and then I go from there. You can design straight lines or you could use curved lines in this. There is no right or wrong. I like to use some curved lines on this too so not everything is so straight. It's nice to bring that in. Now I'm feeling this one. I'm gonna there's a space available on the right and the three different spaces. You can draw it out a few times, you can play with the design, you can alter it, you can make it your own. You don't have to go exactly what is by the wheel. Trying a maybe a different, a little bit bigger loops. I'm feeling the second one, I'm liking it. I'm gonna go with that one. So my little sigil, I just cut out a little piece of red paper and I have a little golden jump ring that is used for jewelry. And that helps hold the sigil into place or the scroll into place. So I would love this inside my little pocket altar. So I'm gonna use a liner pen and transfer my sigil onto the scroll. Now, so I don't forget what it means, I wrote down, love and light surrounds me during my spell work, so mote it be. I think a little bit of love and light and magic is always a good thing, don't you think? Even if I'm doing a banishing spell, I'm pouring in the love. I don't want anything to affect me. I'm rocking it and throwing it back. I use sigils as much as I possibly can. They can go anywhere you can think of in so many different places, from water bottles to inside your jackets. Put them in soup and your food and stir it in. You know, there's just so many things you can do. Even with a magical cooking spoon, you can put one on there. But anyway, look for part number nine. It may be our last video. Not sure. Maybe two more, but maybe one more. Stay tuned. Check around. Like and subscribe. Ring that bell so you get notified for part number nine. And I will see you then in our next little travel pocket altar episode.